Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the limited series Pam and Tommy from Hulu, focusing on the sex tape of Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. And surprisingly, this show really does focus in this first episode on this man named Rand, who is a contractor trying to build the perfect sex bedroom for Tommy Lee and Pam Anderson, and he has a horrible experience. Tommy Lee is an absolute prick and just does him dirty. So what does Rand do? Robs their safe, which happens to have that sex tape. And from there, we see all the harm that causes Pam and Tommy in their lives. And you also see the roller coaster ride that Rand goes on in dealing with distribution and being screwed over by his partner and being basically muscled by a not so nice man. And basically this show has so much life and personality brought to it by director Craig Gillespie and Lake Bell, who between the two of them direct five out of the eight episodes. And Craig Gillespie, you could feel his fingerprints all over this because like right out of I, Tonya, you have that energy, you have that style. The music is unreal in this show. There's so many hit songs. Just the soundtrack is infectious. And Seth Rogen does a really good job in this role of playing a genuine man who we have sympathy for, but then makes some really dumb decisions that slowly takes that sympathy away. But we kind of want him to be okay in the end. And he has his ex-wife, played by Taylor Schilling, from Orange is the New Black, and him dealing with all these different kinds of things. You have Pam Anderson, played by Lily James, with a lot of prosthetics. Um, and she is so endearing. We connect with her, and we appreciate her, and we feel for her. She exudes empathy here. We want to feel bad for Pam Anderson when we watch this because we could see the emotions that she conveys and how much hurt this is happening. Now, Sebastian Stan as Tommy Lee is unbelievably entertaining and crazy ridiculous over the top. I never once felt bad for him. He's just a dick. And it was hard for me to connect with him, and certain things went just too far. Like the second episode here, where they, uh, I won't spoil who voices Tommy Lee's penis, but somebody does, and has a conversation with him. And it's just like, those kinds of things just makes him so distant to be able to connect with. But you have Nick Offerman as um, Rand's business partner and director of pornography. You have Taylor Schilling, who I mentioned before, who does a really fine job. Paul Ben Victor, who plays the the lawyer for Pam and Tommy, gets a lot of great work to do. And Andrew Dice Clay is a not-so-nice man that Rand finds himself connected with. And the supporting cast does a really great job. There's plenty of flair and energy and zeal to the direction and the cinematography in the show, bringing so much life to it. I did almost nope out on this after the second episode because I thought the second episode, the background on how Pam and Tommy met was just so ridiculous and just so exuberant and just full of itself that I just was like, I can't. Like the whole penis thing was just way too far. But you feel genuine empathy, like I mentioned, for Pam Anderson. And this show does such a great job of building that. And then you do feel bad for Rand, even though he's making some really bad decisions. But, you know... Tommy, less interesting. Anytime he pops up on screen, I feel like the show's less interesting. And, you know, he has all of his Motley Crue stuff, which just felt kind of silly and tacky at times. And it does have a lot of social commentary, though, and adds depth to the story in terms of sexism and double standards and why Pam Anderson is harassed for all of this, but not Tommy Lee. And in the end, I think this is a vibrant, crazy thrill ride that does a great service to bringing empathy to Pamela Anderson and the horrible things she had to go through because of this stupid tape. And in the end, I think this is a knowing, important, and exciting, and fun series. And Hulu has themselves a winner here. But those are my thoughts on Pam and Tommy. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But think, or TV... And thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.